What's up everybody, it's Slater here. Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to use Save Wizard. I've been getting a lot of messages from everyone saying that they they just bought Save Wizard and they don't really know how to use it. Um, so this tutorial is for you guys. Um, I'm going to do everything from scratch, so it should be a pretty easy, noob friendly tutorial on um, how to do like the basic stuff in Save Wizard. Um, now for the people who don't know what Save Wizard is, uh, it's basically a game save editor tool where you can edit your game saves. You can also use other people's saves on your account. Um, it is also a $50 to $60 tool. Um, now if you guys don't want to spend that $50 to $60 and you just want to like s edit one game, just DM me in Discord and I'll hook you guys up. But if you're planning on editing like quite a few games, I recommend getting Save Wizard. It actually is pretty useful in some um, some cases. Now, with for the tutorial, I'm gonna do everything from scratch. So as long as you follow everything that I do, it should be a pretty simple tutorial. All right. So the first thing you guys want to do is take your game save and put it on your USB. Now, for, I have a PS5. For the PS4, it is pretty much the same process. You just want to go to your settings. And also, I'm going to use the new God of War game for my example. So you want to go to your settings, go to your save game, you want to go to your PS4, console storage, and you want to copy the save to USB drive. Now, I'm going, now on this, I have three saves. I have these two, and then I have a settings save. So on the USB, you will see um, three different files. Well, you'll actually see six different files. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that over to my USB. All right, that's basically the first step, pretty simple. Once you copied that over to your USB, you wanna head back to your PC, put the USB inside of your PC and then you should see this ps4 folder now in this ps4 folder you'll see save data and then you'll see this folder this is your playstation id um you won't, you don't want to mess with that or anything and then this is the game and then you'll see the first save the second save and then here's the settings so after you guys got that go ahead and open up save wizard um now when you open up save wizard you'll see your save right here you'll also see those two saves right there now for most of you if you want to just edit your own save you can go ahead and just right click click on quick mode and then this always takes a little minute to load up and then you can go ahead and edit your own save with the um, with the cheats that save wizard provides you now if you guys want to use someone else's save the easiest way I would say to do it you would go ahead and get I'm gonna go ahead and get a save really quick all right so now that I got the save I'm gonna be using the 100% uh, resources uh, modded starter save for my example um this is the save that's in my most recent video now i'm gonna now it doesn't matter what unzip tool you guys use you can use any unzip tool i'm using winrar it doesn't really matter which unzip tool you use so for this but in this specific case um the game that is in this folder and the game that i have is the same region you can tell by the numbers so the cusa 34384 and the CUSA 34384 3, basically means that um, it's the same region. And don't worry, I'll show you guys how to re-region after this. But basically what you have to do to re-sign a save, you have to import this save. So if you import a save that's not from your region, this will not work. So before you import any save, make sure that the save that you have and the save that you're trying to import is the same number. Now to import it, you want to go to resign, import, you want to click on the zip, you want to double click, and you should see this is the save that I want to import. Click on import, click on your profile, 
going to take a little minute. All right, now that's done. You can choose to delete the original save or not. I'm going to just click OK. And then when you go back here, you should see, boom, your saves right here with your profile ID on it. Now that is basically how to do it if it's the same region. Now how to re-region the save is a little bit different. Um, so to re-region a save, here let me get let me get a save from another region real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so for an example, this is the EU version of this very same save. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that. And you can tell it's a different number. So it's uh, eight six instead of eight four. So to re-region the save, uh, most times when people upload these saves, they do include a raw um, file to re-region it. If, if your save doesn't have that raw file, then that's fine. You see how this save only has the game save and no raw file. So how to create your own raw file from this save, basically you want to do is just import this save, even though, it's, even though it's from a different region. Double click, basically do the same step as you would for the first one. All right, so now that it's done loading, you should see two different saves. Let me go back here. All right, now that it's done loading, you should see two different saves. You're gonna see the US save, and you're gonna see the EU save. So basically what you wanna do is go to the EU save, right click, click on advanced mode. Wait for that to load up. And also there is some games that don't allow you to um, get to, to advanced mode to do the re-region. Um, if you ever run into that situation, DM me in Discord, that's also something else I can help you guys out with. All right, so now that it is in advanced mode, you want to go to export file. Just go ahead and export it to my desktop. And there you go. This is the raw save. Now, basically what you want to do with the raw save, exit out of this, go back to your original, um, your version of the game. You choose one of the saves that you want to re-region. I'm going to just choose this one right here. Click the advanced mode on this one. And then you're going to hit this arrow right here, import file. And when you click import file, make sure you click on this, make sure you click on the raw save and not the actual game save from the folder. Make sure you click on the raw save that you created, click on open, and then you want to click apply. All right, modification successfully applied. Click OK, and that's literally all you guys have to do. It is uh, very, very simple. Um, I'm going to go back to my PS5 now, and I'm going to show you guys that both these saves are going to be with the new modded starter save, and it's going to be working fine. All right, back to the PS5. Um, you want to go ahead and put these saves back onto your console. You want to go to your settings, go back to your save data. PS4, and then instead of console storage, you want to click on USB drive, and then you want to copy to console storage. Now this one is the one that's not for your region. So if you click this one and you copy it over, it's not going to work because it's a whole different game essentially. You have to make sure it's the one that is for your region, and the way we know that is because there's one, two, three game saves. Also, I guess that picture kind of helps. Go ahead and copy that over. Let's wait for that to finish. All right, now that's done. That's that's it.
everything should be on there. Let's go ahead and load up the game. Now since I loaded up the PS5 version of the game, I'm going to have this tab right here, PS4 system. Uh, if you're on the PS4 version, you won't have this tab, you'll just have uh, all of these saves. Um, the save that is the modded save, it should be the 20654. So you see I have this one 20654 and I have this one 20654. So they're the same save since I uh, re-regioned one save and I just re-signed one save. I can make this tutorial. You guys are still having issues. This place uh, is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself. Um, I should be able to help you guys out. For the most part, I can do it for you guys. So if you're really, really having issues, I can just, just do it, all, every process for you. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped. If it didn't, leave a comment and uh, hey, let me know where you guys are stuck at. And yeah, if you don't